So welcome back guys. Um, we've been doing our shop local scenario and doing a couple of videos every week and I just wanted to probably do a little bit with this young gentleman next to me and I, I suppose when this goes out to the marketplace they're probably going to know these guys a bit, a bit more than me. So I'm Todd MacArthur, we've got the MacArthur Industries Group and um, this is Alan MacArthur which is the founder of this whole lot scenario, my mother and I. So young Alan MacArthur here, what I want to do with him today is probably I'm going to prompt you with a few questions, but first thing was, when did you start your apprenticeship? What year? Run me through that. My apprenticeship started in, couldn't tell you what year, I know how old I was, yeah. was, was 16. Okay. So I think it was around about 1966. So as you can see, Dad's just turned 54, maybe, on that sort of thing. So a few years experience under his belt. So do you remember what, um, what brought you in the mindset to start Sangat Auto Electrics? Yeah, it was a, a simple decision to make. It was when I was working um, at another company, Susan and I were about to have a, a baby and the wage I was on, I couldn't afford it um, to, to be there. So what I did do was I spoke to some friends in the Sangat area who told me I should be starting a business down this way and uh, so I decided to make that decision and come down here and do it. So lucky enough for me, um, mum and dad have done all the hard work and I've just stepped in the shoes and gone in there. So we're still upstairs in, um, this is this shed here, I know mum and dad spent a fair bit of time. I know you started over in Kemp Street, was it, I think, to start with at the back of- Hoskins Street, Hoskins yeah. Street, was that yeah. back of Sangate Automatics? I yes, think. And then yes. after that, I think we went to a shed in the back of the De Bruins, was it? They had their own panel beating shop there, which as Next. we got bigger and bigger, each, yeah. year, each year we got bigger, so we had to go into bigger premises. Yeah, so then we ended up in this shed here, which I'm pretty sure Bernie Wenzel had, and yeah. rented this shed here, and then mum and dad always said to me that, oh, we won't need anything bigger, then we went and bought the shed next door, which we were gonna split into three. Yeah. But now I think we've got four or five premises around here, which I, I've got to thank my parents for. But um, with that, dad, I know, like, um, I'm fairly, as a wrong word to be using on camera, but anal, but um, I think that's come from you. Yeah. What, how did that come about? What, like, I know you're a perfectionist and you still are to this day. So what, why is that and how did that come about? Um, Business-wise, it was always with our customers. I wanted them to be dealt with uh, in, in a, a way that when they left us, they could be our friends. So I had to make sure that anything that we did for our customers, was 100% perfect so that when they left, they could leave here with a smile on their face and be able to talk to other people, which is what's happened in this area. It has, and, you, and you've proved that with so many people. Like I know, um, I know Dad and I have spoken about this many a time. Like I grew up as um, Alan MacArthur's son from Sandgate Auto Electrics and then Dad, got the opportunity to dad rang me up once and said oh mate it's my time to shine I'm out I want to start enjoying my life and um, I bought that and now it's dad's got the shits with me because it's um scenario being that um now he's Todd MacArthur's dad which I did do, so, which is a bit wrong but I just want to let our customers I know that you're the same as me they mean the world to us and we've, there's not tens and twenties there's hundreds of you guys to thousands of guys that we love and we um we I just probably this video is just a bit to to say thank you to my parents for what they've done, but also just a bit of a history lesson for you guys to know that we've come here. I think it's around about the 47 year mark that we've still been running. Yes, exactly. But, um, yeah. So you got all electrics, this, this shed here, we spent about 16 years on, and then dad bought the shed next door and we've never looked back. So thank you for everything you've done. I'd say that's okay, that's Todd. Right, mate. We can't kiss and cuddle at the moment. No. Normally we would, we're pretty <laughs> hands on family and go from that. So. Pretty close. Yeah, very, very yeah. close. So guys, but if you want anything more like this and you want some more history about what's happened in the area for us locally, please hit me up and I can get Dad back in and Mum and we'll have a chat about it. It'll be unreal. Have a great day. We'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, bye.